It won't surprise you that I haven't picked up as many games over the course of the last year. The reason for that is obvious. Being unable to spontaneously head into town and check out the library of games on display in our local shops, we're now limited to online shopping, long wait times and many crossed fingers. But that hasn't stopped me. I've still been able to grab a few games over this difficult year. And I've even grabbed a special guest who's done the same. So, hello fellow gamers. And we're going through our lockdown pickups. Sit back and enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome aboard, and uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going through all of the games that we've picked up during the lockdown, which started in, uh, well, in the UK, it started in March of 2020, and I thought what we'd do is uh, we'd get a special guest on uh, this uh, this video. <laughs> so what we've got here, uh, well, who we have here is my good friend G, who is one half of the End Gamers. Uh, they've got a YouTube channel as well. How you doing? Do you want to say a few words about yourself? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm I'm G from the uh, from the End Gamers. Uh, unfortunately, Ray isn't here today. Um, our uh, schedules throughout lockdown have been quite busy, so we've not been able to do a lot. Uh, but uh, I was approached by uh, this handsome chap here to do a collaboration. I thought I think it's about time. It's about time that we did something together as well. So there we go. Absolutely, it is uh, well overdue. We've had a few ideas, and uh, we're yeah. the first one to yeah. come to fruition. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna go through all of the games that we've picked up uh, since March of 2020. So that's quite a while, but at the same time, we've been under a lockdown because of a certain virus, and um, we're starting to get people inoculated now. So uh, hopefully, it's not going to be too long left. Um, so I don't know. Uh, uh, Gee, do you want uh, do you want me to start first? I think you should, yeah. Go on then. All right, let's go. And let's hope that my computer lasts <laughs> because it <laughs> crashed when we were doing a test. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about um, like games which we picked up since this started. And I yeah. think we can both happily say that there is a certain game which we both picked up right at the beginning. And that yeah. is Animal Crossing. Yes. Uh, no, I, Nintendo bought, Switch. I, bought mine, uh, <laughs> I bought mine digitally. Uh, Ah, uh, but yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, I think I, I don't think I've been on mine uh, since about summertime. I've been trying other things as well, but that doesn't mean that I don't like the game at all. Um, the, the amount of features in this game are uh, absolutely amazing, you know, it, and it keeps evolving. And I think this game's mm. actually evolved so much in such a short space of time. I think it's actually evolved more than the other games during their life cycle. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not an... Uh, well, before New Horizons, I'm not an Animal Crossing person. I mean, I did pick up New Leaf, but the problem I had with is um, it's not a game which I had played before, so uh, mm -hmm. I understand some of the premise, but I couldn't really get into it because the game had been out for a few years already and everyone else who played it had already finished playing it, so I couldn't like, yeah. uh, visit other people's yeah. islands and, uh, and oh, lands, should I say. I couldn't really, it was most of a, a single player game, so I couldn't get much out of it. But New yeah. Horizons, I jumped straight in when it came out, when everyone else got it. And I was swapping items with other people, I was visiting other yeah. islands, uh, yeah. and we were just having a blast. I've had a lot of fun with this. Okay, what's your next one? I am a bit of a fan of retro game, like yourself. And there's something came out, um, it actually came out before lockdown. I think it came out about a year before lockdown, and I always wanted to get it. Or oh, is this what I think it is? I got myself a Commodore 64 Mini. <laughs> yes! I've got one of those <laughs> as well. Um, now this beautiful unit. There You've got are. one as well! Excellent! <laughs> the thing is, I, I, mine would be in my list, but I picked it up in February, the month before. Ah. Okay, no, oh, I got mine. List, but yeah, I got one too. Right, I got mine around, I think it was as the stores actually reopened again. I think it was around June. Uh, but I, yeah, I bought it from a second-hand shop in, in Rochdale. And I think the, the best thing about these is there's, there's actually two versions. Um, there is this version that we've got, 
uh, I assume you've got as well. And there's actually another version with a working keyboard. Oh, you mean the full-sized one? The full-sized one. Yeah, it's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they have uh, USB uh, sections in the side, so you plug your control stick. Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. And also, you can actually go online um, and download. Yep, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you can go online and download. Graphics. <laughs> go and download extra games that are that are available. Uh, it actually comes pre-installed with uh, 64 games and uh, also uh, a program for anybody who wants to code in BASIC to create their own games. That's available on this little bad boy as well. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, um, well, the next one that I've got here is one which I haven't played either, actually. Uh, because it's still sealed, and it is a uh, little town hero. It's the Big Idea Edition. Okay, I can't say I've heard of that one. Ah, it's uh, well, I picked it up because it's a Game Freak game, which isn't Pokemon, and that's why oh. I picked it up and left it sealed because it's going to. I'm sure it's going to have some kind of value. To be honest, I picked it up uh, purely from a, a collector's perspective, in the hopes that uh, you know that. If I'm in a certain situation, I can sell it off. Uh, but I hear some good things about it. I've seen a lot of footage about it. It might be interesting. I might even just get it digitally, just to give it a go. Right, uh, what's next on my list? Ah, well, we um, you, you made the shift over to um, physical devices, and I think my next one is a physical device too, because... Um, it was around about, it was not long into the lockdown that I decided to pick up a Raspberry Pi 4. Oh, and you've got a little NES skin for it as well, have you? Absolutely. And... <laughs> um, I'll just pop that open. There we go. Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, I picked this up because, uh, well, a, a, a friend of mine actually from work uh, told me that they were going for a reasonable price on Amazon. So... Um, yeah. I, I decided, you know what, I'm going to pick one up and uh, it's going to be more powerful than the Pi 3 that I've got, which was running RetroPie, which has a whole bunch of games on it. Yeah. And uh, I found, actually, that this is powerful enough to even run Dreamcast games extremely well. Wow. So, yeah, I opened it up. Uh, I, I brought all of my ROMs over and I put uh, a couple of, uh, a few Dreamcast ROMs on there as well. Which, uh, which are all games which I own, by the way. I'm not into the piracy thing. Um, and it works absolutely fantastically. Of course, I bought this, and a few days later, uh, this is the 4-gig mod model, um, a few days later, the 8-gig model came out. And I would rather have gotten that one, but this yeah. one still works fantastically. I love it. Yeah. Right, what's your next one? Oh, my next one is something that I didn't actually buy. Oh? Yeah. Um, I was treated to this off my eight-year-old little brother because he found out that my version of this, my copy of this, didn't work anymore. So he used his pocket money to buy it for me. Oh, that's sweet of him. And it was a copy of Super Mario 64 from the <laughs> Nintendo 64. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it was excellent. I couldn't tell you, I was absolutely blown away by his generosity. And uh, I got home and it was, I got home from work and it was just one of those, I've got your surprise, I've got your surprise. And he's shown at me and I'm like, holy hell. You know, I, I thought it was really nice of him. Um, yeah, I don't know what's up with my other version. I think it might just be uh, the battery or something. I'm, I'm going to have a look at it. And, Maybe just tinker with it a little bit, opening it up and try and learn a little bit about it as well, you know, see if I can actually fix it myself. But if I don't, I've got that. Nothing beats the original. You can't beat the original. You can't beat the... Uh, it got released on the 3DS. It got released on the Switch. It got released on the Wii U. You can't beat the original, I'm afraid. You cannot beat it. And I, I was blown away by this generosity. Well, sadly, uh, the the next one that I've got uh, wasn't bought for me. It was uh, I had to pay out of my own pocket money, <laughs> and that is uh, another physical item, uh, hardware item, should I say? Got the uh, the Mega Drive Mini. I've got the Mega Drive Mini too. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'd um, I'd been interested there in getting one of these. Hey, there we go. <laughs> the Mega Drive, not the Genesis. Am I right? No, the Mega Drive, the proper name. Exactly, because that's where everyone knows it as, except for America. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I wanted to pick one up because uh, it, it's it, it's it's rather interesting to me actually because they put a lot of detail into it, uh, like the yeah, fact did, the, yeah. the the controller part and the volume yeah. control which doesn't work yeah. but it's there, and it's and uh, the flap uh, under here which is for the expansion for the um, yeah. for the Mega CD. Yeah. But uh, I will say you know it's it's really a lot of fun. Uh, the controllers are. Uh, exact duplicates yeah. of the original ones to and... go along with the mega drive one i was actually de um disappointed that we didn't get the six button controllers either well i don't i don't think they were included anyway i think you have to buy them separately uh mm, from they were included in the japanese version i believe oh, i'm they? not 100 percent sure please uh correct us on that in the comments below if i am wrong on that but i i, I do believe that the japanese version did have six buttons uh, but yeah, if if you wanted to actually play Street Fighter on this now, you'd have to go out and buy a six button pad, or or just link a, a different pad up. Um, yeah, up you can, it, I think it's an eight bit do. Um, yes. Uh, make official six button yeah. controllers for these. Yeah. Okay, my next buy was something that takes me back to the time I was about twelve years old, maybe a little bit before that. Playing on my Game Boy in the dark, running out of batteries all the time. Nintendo created the greatest ever thing for it. Okay. The greatest ever solution. Uh, the Super uh, Game Boy. Oh, boxed as well. It boxed as well. So, unfortunately, it's got a couple of dinks in the box. Um, but it comes with a tray. It even comes with the paperwork inside the manual. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, uh, nice, I think it was the, yeah, the service. Poster as well. But even so, it comes with the tray. It's even still in its plastic bag. That's everything. Yeah, I know. I, I got this. Uh, I think I must have spent about £25 on eBay. It was about £25 on eBay. And I have to say that, that it's probably one of the best £25 I've ever spent. Uh, but I, I can say that my next game, um, well, I bought it full price, so you wouldn't say a bargain. Um, but uh, I'm going to move over now to my next one. And I picked up Iron Man VR on the PS4. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, I've heard that's actually pretty good. It is really, really good. Um, pretty short, right, isn't it? Um, I would say it's longer than, say, certain games that have come out more recently. Uh, because I I haven't gotten back to completing this yet, but I've just been oh, right. it. but the the I think I've gone through about half of the campaign so far, and it is an absolutely fantastic game. In order to play it, you need of course the PlayStation VR. You could run yeah. it on a PS4 or a PS5, and uh, you definitely need uh, VR legs in order to get through this because it really disorientates you. Uh, yeah, but yeah. You feel like. Iron Man when you're playing this and yeah. I think uh, for for them to be able to reproduce uh, that experience it's spot mm. on it's a brilliant game if you've got PlayStation VR it is worth picking up now this is something that I know that you've got okay because you made a video on it already now as a huge huge fan of Lego and I have a oh. vast quantity of Lego models. The when Lego... this boy came out, the Lego Nez, I had to get it. Fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get it on day one. Uh, but um, as soon as lockdown kind of eased off a little bit, and I went into Manchester and I was able to pick it up. Um, I wanted, you know, I wanted to get it myself. You know, I wanted to get out. You know, I didn't want to just get it online. I'm not a huge fan of the whole TV section of it. I think we could have made the console a little bit bigger, a little bit more life-size, you know, made the cartridge a little bit bigger as well. Um, but, you know, just making Mario move on the television, um, I think it's uh, absolutely great. All right, well, the next one, I'm actually going to be talking about uh, a few uh, games that I got in one lot because it was when uh, I got uh, my very first order from CEX Online. Uh, 
All right. And that was when I picked up a, a few titles. So I got uh, Panzer Dragoon for the Sega okay. Saturn. I got um, Bug on the Saturn as well. And I picked up a few physical cards as well. So I've got um, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap on the Game oh, Boy Advance. I still believe I've got that boxed somewhere. Oh, you've got it boxed? I, I, yeah, that's the thing somewhere. That... I, I do believe I've got it somewhere boxed, yeah. Uh, the uh, Well, I, I, I just went for the cartridge games loose because yeah. um, oh. the, the cards are going to be bo- uh, they're going to be mulch anyway, aren't they now? Most of them. Um, so any of that are left over, the, the price is going to skyrocket. Um, I also got um, uh, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. Nice. Which is going to look great on that um, uh, Super Game Boy that you've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because on that, it does actually have a custom background. It does. Uh, it's yeah, like some of the arcade. games do have custom backgrounds. Yeah. And, and, co- last... and colour. It actually has the proper colour as well. Proper colours. Yeah. And the last one in the batch was um, Hydro Thunder on the NES. Oh, no, the uh, the N64. Oh, could you imagine? Actually, oh, could you, you imagine, imagine that, that on the NES? <laughs> That'd be mint. That'd be great. That would look really Imagine, sweet. If all the NES games actually looked as cool as that as well. <laughs> right, but but out of these, I would uh, certainly recommend um, Panzer Dragoon, the original. I mean, I was really happy yeah. with this one. It came in really good condition with a really good condition uh, disc and manual, and it's it's a fantastic game. I've played through it several times since I picked it up, and it's it's worth getting. I mean, if you like Star Fox. You'll like this. It's amazing. Yeah. Right. I am a huge Resident Evil fan. And in 2019... No yep. In 2019, Capcom re-released... Well, didn't re-release. They released the brand new, upgraded, updated Resident Evil 2. The remake. Yeah. I've yet to play that. Glorious. And... Resident Evil 2 is my favourite game of all time. And when I played that game, I it was just... Oh, I was blown away. Uh, when I bought yeah. the, the game, I had to get the collector's edition. Oh, So it come with a Leon Kennedy statue. Uh, it come with uh, a poster, um, a CD. It come with police, police station keys as well, which is a game exclusive. Then never got that in America. <clears throat> Sorry, Americans. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this year, Merchoid.com actually released uh, three medallions. Now, the medallions that you actually collect within the game. So we have the Maiden medallion. Oh. We have the Lion medallion. And we also have the Unicorn medallion. Now, oh, each one of these sweet, man. is... I know they were fourteen ninety nine each. I've got all three of them straight after that, and they are limited to five thousand copies. Um, I can't, I can't help but notice that they're still sealed. Yes, they are still sealed. Like a lot of my stuff, like things like that. Like these are my amiibo. A lot of my amiibo are still sealed as well. So uh, I, I won't be finding out which number they are. But uh, I did, I did watch a, a video uh, online. I think it was from uh, Let's Talk Resident Evil or Re- the Residents of Evil, and mm. one of them actually got hold of the of the coin of the medallions and opened them up and shown on the video. And they do look quite weighty, quite solid coins, and the the attention to detail on these, mate, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't say no to them. I, oh. As a big Resident Evil 2 fan, I just could not say no to these things. All right, well, my next one is... Uh, well, it's actually two games, and I know that you've picked these up as well. They're probably <laughs> on your list. Are they what I think they are? They I, may have, are. I, I may have them in my hand right now. <laughs> they are, of course, the last games that were released on the uh, PAL Wii. Uh, that is Retro City Rampage DX and Shakedown Hawaii. And uh, I think that I needed to pick these up because they were uh, they were only released on PAL, and uh, even though yeah. uh, like a lot of them got sold in America, and they, in fact, weirdly enough, they got shipped from America as well. But yeah. they were PAL pressed in uh, via Nintendo of Europe. Uh, it would have yeah. been better if they just you know sent it straight to us from the EU, but that's logistics for you. But I needed <laughs> to get them. Uh, they were of a limited supply. Was it? 
I forget, was it about... 2,000. How many? 2,000, I, 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 I believe. 2,000 each. 2,000 of it? I, I, th I thought it was 20,000, but 2,000? No. Wow. I, I believe the 2,000. Again, if, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments section below, but I yeah. do believe it's 2,000. Well, well uh, nonetheless, um, I mean, I, we had to get these, didn't we? And yeah, yeah. Um, I have opened them, unfortunately, uh, but that's so I can back them up on my hard drive, on my Wii, so that I never yeah. have to open them up again. And... No, I haven't. Mine are still in the foil. Oh, yours are still, still sealed, aren't they? In condition. I think I might buy them again on the Switch or another console just in order to play them. Uh, if I can find them in a sale at some point uh, and give them a go and show them the love they deserve. Right, well, myself and Ray were big retro gamers. We loved the retro gaming scene. And, oh, yeah. um, we grew up playing Mega Drive games. Before I ended up getting a Super Nintendo, we both played a lot of Mega Drive games. Uh, and we've, we've actually made a lot of uh, our game uh, gaming videos based on the Mega Drive. Um, so this next purchase was an absolute no-brainer. Oh. Sega Mega Drive Classics. That's now, great. I've got, I've got that on, the, that on, on the PS4. Xbox. Have you? Right. Yep, this is on the, uh, the Xbox One, also playable on the Xbox uh, Series X. Um, and I bought this for an absolute bargain, mate. This, oh. I bought this for £9 from Asda. Nine? Nine pounds from Asda. What an Ooh. absolute steal. That is uh, a steal. Is, yeah. Well, me and Ray, uh, I, we, we do plan on uh, making some uh, extra Mega Drive games and retro games, as, uh, retro gaming videos as well. So um, this is just going to help us out big time, but not just helping us out. It's going to help us relive our memories. All right. Well, my next game... Um... <laughs> well, actually, it's representing at the time um, when, well, it was um, August of uh, 2020. I actually picked up uh, a whole bunch of games off a local seller on Facebook Marketplace. And um, I think there's something like 80 or 90 games there. I'm not going through them all. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> um, instead, I'm picking out one game, which I think is okay. the best which I, out of the collection. Um and that is Sonic Jam on the Sega Saturn. Okay. And Again, really... I've not played that one. Oh, oh, well, to be honest, it's a collection of um, the first four Sonic games, which are all, oh, in, okay. which are all in one collection. Yep. And it's one of the few uh, titles as well, which isn't the original, where you can, in fact link them together so you can take Sonic and Knuckles and put Sonic 1 in, Sonic 2, Sonic 3. Wow. So, uh, there were very few ways that you can do that without having the original cartridges. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. And it also has a, uh, a 3D hub on it as well, which I so I hear, I don't have any confirmation of this, I haven't looked at the raw code or anything, but uh, the 3D hub is running, uh, from what I hear, um, and a version of the engine which was going to be used for uh, the 3D Sonic that was going to be released on the Saturn, which ended up being cancelled. So it gives you right. a, a little taster of what the game could have been like. Okay. And uh, I just think that's absolutely fantastic. So you've got uh, uh, some rare opportunities to play Sonic in ways that you can't if you haven't got the physical cartridges. And you've got that 3D hub, the taster of the what would have been Saturn Sonic. Uh, I, I think it, for those, it's worth picking up so you can so you can live that. All right, what's your what's okay. your next one then, G? Okay, my next game is something I know that you've got already. Oh, okay. okay. And I know, just like me, you bought it twice. I bought it twice. We bought it twice. I, I, I'm curious now, actually. <laughs> what are you talking about? Which one? Super Mario. <laughs> All -Star. Yes, I did. <laughs> 3D All Stars. And you know we what? Both it. That's in my list as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it sealed as well? It's still sealed. Yeah, still sealed. Usually, usually I like to. You like to uh, let things breathe. You open your amiibo. You do this, that, the other. You don't necessarily have a lot of things sealed, whereas I do. Yeah. Um, but then knowing that you actually, we were. 
we were like minded on this one. Uh, but yeah, uh, Super Mario 64, as I mentioned before, it speaks for itself. It's one of the greatest games ever made. Of course. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy is an absolute gem. Personally, I'm not a biggest fan of Super Mario Sunshine, but I am willing yes. to give it a shot. A lot of uh, people, so many people go on about uh, Sunshine being uh, the best thing since sliced bread. And I get it. Yeah, I, I don't I, get I mean, it. It's a I nice game. It. It's a nice game, no. but it's not. It's not 64, and it's not Galaxy. No, I bought the I bought uh, Mario Sunshine on release, playing it, and I just couldn't grasp it at all. I took it round to my friend's house. He loved it. Me, nah, didn't like it whatsoever. But you know that was what 15 years ago, or however long it came, how long it came out, and I'm I'm open to give it another shot. Mm. You know. Um, but yeah, I bought it uh, downloaded. I downloaded it on the on the Switch as well as you did, uh, and I yep. bought the the physical copy because it was going to be a limited release. Yeah, because they're, uh, they're gonna they're not gonna sell it anymore after the uh, the end of March of twenty twenty one. No, which is a crazy decision. But what's crazy? Free... I mean, a, a limited run of a physical game, I can get that, but a limited run of a digital game. Yeah. That's it's just what I don't get. Beyond ridiculous. Absolutely. I, I can't understand it. And, you know, Twitter and the internet and just every Nintendo fan or every video game fan went wild. Like, why? They went nuts. They just couldn't understand it. And I still can't understand it. Yeah. Um, the, the only thing I can think of is if they've got something else planned in future. But uh i don't, I don't know it just I, I, can't, I can't forgive him for that decision i'm afraid no I, uh, yeah but, it's a daft decision uh, absolutely yeah but if they stopped selling the physical one after the end of march i can understand that because every game has a certain longevity oh, yeah you know uh, they stop making it at a certain point yeah, but the digital course, yeah. games are always available mm. unless there's a uh, a license issue in uh, yeah like uh, with scott pilgrim but that was taken yeah. down because of license issues, um, and uh, but, but if there isn't, just keep mm. it up and keep it available. People are still going to buy it. Mm. Oh, it's ridiculous. But you know we've got both of them, so I suppose the digital one is more uh, limited, like isn't it? Because you can't pass on, you can't resell a digital copy. No, no, it's true. So that's, uh, that's going to be the more... Um, so if you are selling a Switch which has it pre-installed, then, yeah, that's going to be worth a bit more. It's kind of like um, with uh, with that Silent Hill demo. E.T.? Yeah. yeah. If you're selling a PS4 with that Silent Hill demo installed in it, which, by the way, both of my PS4s have it installed. <laughs> so, you know, they're, <laughs> they're worth a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, it's the same with the Switch, with the uh, with the full game of this, uh, with the digital release of this, and uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Now, even though I've got a, a few more things to show, um, this was actually my last pickup of 2020, and okay. it's probably one of the biggest, because I was extremely lucky to get hold of it. Ooh, all right. We've mentioned it already before, but... I'm just going to show it, right? It was. Oh, of course. You, you mentioned it a couple of times, so of course you have to show it. Yeah. You've got to show the box. I mean, I would get the unit, but it's been it's nicely tucked away. It was on launch. I was extremely lucky. Uh, I waited outside uh, my local game store. Um, I, I asked work if I could start a little bit later so I could go and pre-order it. Yeah, so I had to just go online and keep trying and trying and trying. They were crashing, crashing, crashing. And about 6 p.m. that night, I got onto my phone and managed to get online and managed to snag myself a copy. I snagged myself a console. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I'm extremely lucky. Um, it's a beautiful console it's, a fun, it's an absolute beast mate it really is uh the ssd is an absolute game changer i'm loading uh sea of thieves in now in about 20 seconds whereas i was waiting about a minute before a minute 20 seconds before ah. uh it's yeah it's just an absolute beast uh and i love it to bits right well the next game i've got um is one which i've bought and i haven't opened yet because i've 
already bought it and played it digitally. I don't know if UG have, uh, have, have bought it or played it yet. And that is Untitled Goose Game. Physically. I played it on the Xbox. Oh, you played it on Xbox? Yeah. Oh, ah. it's so funny. It is such a hoot. Or maybe <laughs> I should say honk. It's such a honk. <laughs> <laughs> such a laugh. I mean, it's not a long game. Um, no. If you want to go back and get all the achievements, you add a few hours onto it, but oh my goodness, it's such a fun game. <laughs> so good. Isn't it? And they just recently uh, released a, a two player version of it, haven't they? A they two player did. mode for it as well, yeah. And what's crazy is that they released the two player something like a week after the physical game came out. So, yeah. Uh, so if I were to open this uh, and put it into a fresh Switch, there's going to be a download available for it straight away. Which is kind of annoying, but uh, still, the core game is there, and it's an excellent, excellent game. In fact, you know what? It still says on the back it's one player, so oh. it definitely doesn't have the two player aspect on it. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So so I'd recommend everyone just pick it up, uh, digital or physical, whatever. Doesn't matter the platform. Just grab it. it it's you're yeah. not going to be disappointed. Definitely. Okay. The next one uh, is one that I know that you've got. Okay. Because you got it for me. Uh, it is actually the celebratory game and watch. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I have it right here. <laughs> is it for the other? Yeah, there we go. We've opened it up. <laughs> uh, and this, uh, it contains Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, Ball, not Balls. Ball. Ball. Yeah, it's a very different game. It's, it's yep. singular, not yeah. plural. <laughs> Again, not a euphemism. Uh, <laughs> and it also has a clock. Now, this system, I just think it's so beautifully made. Um, it is fantastic, but, isn't it? It's a beautiful little device. Yeah. All right, well, the next pickup I've got, um, <laughs> I've got two different versions of it. Okay. And it's something which is uh, rather unique. Um, I may as well just say it. I'll just well, not just say it. I'll just show you, and you'll realise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you haven't bought them both. Mario Kart Live. Yes, I've got both the Mario one and the Luigi one. This is just the Mario one. I, I can I can I just say I had a funny feeling that you'd already bought them because I can see them behind you. <laughs> Well, yeah, funnily enough, yeah, they're both behind me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the box, I can't of believe course. you them both. Wow. How are they, though? Oh, it is so much fun. Um, it's very weird as well, because um, you think that if you've got, like, a real remote control car that you're controlling with your Switch, you're not, you're not going to get, uh, like, the kind of Mario Kart experience, but by gum, you do. You really wow. do. It feels like you are playing a whole, uh, like a whole on Mario game, but uh, the difference is, of course, the uh, the track is your living room, it's your kitchen, it's your bedroom, it's wherever wow. you set it up. Oh, well, my next pickup is one which I was looking forward to ever since I saw it on uh, E3. I think it was E3 2019 that it was showing off, and I absolutely loved the premise of it, even though I hadn't played any of the games in that franchise up okay. until this point. I've got a feeling I know what it is, and Watch I'm Dogs wrong. Legion. <laughs> okay. Was it what you were thinking? No, I was thinking something completely different. Ah, and now for something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Watch Dogs Legion. I'd never played any of the Watch Dogs games. I, I like the idea. I like the premise of them. Yeah. I just hadn't played them. I think I've got a couple um, on um, uh, Xbox Gold, which I've downloaded, uh, but I haven't played them yet. But I have played this one, and... Even though there are a few things which are, um, uh, you know, inaccurate, because mm. it, it's all based in London, and of course we're we're both Brits. Uh, we have both. Uh, I I know I've been to London a few times. I don't know you've been to yeah, London yeah. at least yeah. once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, we know what it's like there, and uh, there's plenty of things that are accurate about it, and th uh, plenty of things which aren't. Like uh, some of the um, uh, the accents that are used for some of the voice acting. Uh, they are 
kind of forced, you know, they don't seem quite right. But I will say they've done uh, quite a good job with it. it, it it's quite um, uh, embracing. It, you, you can really find yourself uh, lost in the world, you know. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it, it's, it's, a, it's an awful lot of fun. And uh, I've had so much fun with it, and uh, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I've, I think I think the multiplayer is. If it's not out now, it will be out very soon. And I'm yeah. looking forward to trying out the multiplayer with it with a few friends of mine on Xbox. All right, G, what's your next one? Okay, well, we're going to stick with the whole uh, Ubisoft and British theme. Oh, okay. With Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Ah. Now, I've, I've got to be honest, I've never played a, a single Assassin's Creed game. Uh, you are seriously missing out. This is, in my opinion, probably the best game, if not the second best game in the series, behind uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Um, now, this okay. one is where you take control of a Viking called Ivar. Or right. Ava is pronounced Ava. Now Ava could either be male or female. Uh, you start off in Norway and you do uh, you trek along to England uh, during the Viking invasion, uh, and you are pretty much uh, living the life of a Viking, pillaging, uh, going after treasure, helping other kings, and uh, there's loads of loads of different stories within uh, within it. Right. Um, but the entire world that they've built in this is absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so gorgeous. It's the best looking game that in the series. But yeah, it's I'm a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed uh, uh, series. And yeah, Ubisoft have done an absolutely incredible job with this one. And I can't wait for the uh, additional DLC that they release with it. All right, G, what's your next one? Well, my next one is actually my last one, and oh, I've saved right. the best for last. Um, it is, in fact, a copy of Resident Evil 3 Remake. Ah, now, I've, this is interesting, because I've got a question about Resident Evil 3. Is that a remake of Nemesis? It is. It is a, an exact... Well, it's, I will say exact. It is a remake of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, with a lot of subtle changes in the games, uh, you, again, you do play as Jill Valentine in this one. Right. Um, there is part of the game where you do play as um, Carlos Oliveira, who is uh, works for Umbrella, um, but he doesn't know what's going on in the city. His job was basically just to rescue people. I think they've captured Nemesis absolutely perfectly. Jill in this is perfect. Um Carlos is perfect. Every other character in this game is perfect. They've all been uh, emphasised, uh, more emphasis on the characters. They've been fleshed out a little bit more. Uh, the city is beautiful and dark and disgusting and scary. And <laughs> and the good thing about this is you actually get to see Raccoon City as the outbreak is beginning, as it's taken, taken control of the city. That isn't the end of this, because like Resident Evil Two, I also bought the collector's edition. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to pull no. out some more medallions. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the statuette of uh, the, the model Jill, Jill Valentine, Valentine. Uh, and this comes with her new attire. Now, in the original game, she, she wears like a tank top, uh, a mini skirt, and I think it's like a sweatshirt, which is tied around her waist. Yeah. Um, this one, she, again, she wears a tank top, but it's a little bit more modern. You've got um, like the belt and everything to hold her weapons it's in. Like, it's she's like her police attire weapons. without the jacket. Yeah, yeah. She's actually wearing more like combat pants and boots this time rather than a mini skirt and um, knee-high boots. So it's more, she's more combat ready. She she is a chick ready for action. Yep, definitely. And it comes in this. <laughs> Holy! I forgot about that collection's edition. 
<laughs> right? It comes with that. Now, inside this, it comes with a CD uh, of, of, of the music, uh, the in-game music. Right. It comes with a map of Raccoon City, and it also comes with a uh, booklet, an, an art booklet. This is the biggest and best pickup of 2020 for me. Right, my next pickup is one that I've been looking forward to for a while, but I haven't gotten into it all that much yet. That is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. When you pulled out um, Legions, that's what I thought you were talking about. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, I, I picked this up. This was um, a couple of weeks, about two or three weeks after I got Legions. Because Legions came out about the end of October. I got it the day after. And I got this on day of launch. It's essentially uh, a, another make of uh, Hyrule Warriors. Uh, it's the same engine and everything. Um, it's obviously been upgraded and everything. It's got cell shaded uh, graphics uh, that is included in Breath of the Wild. And yeah. it's a it's a prequel to Breath of the Wild. It shows the story uh, that happened a hundred years before. It, it is. Uh, I mean, from what I've played of it so far, it's really interesting and it's really a lot of fun. Um, quite a bit of grinding involved, though, um, especially if you want your favorite characters to be up to the, the up to the same level as Link, because Link is like the predominant character and yeah. he's used in a lot of the missions, so he naturally levels up faster than everyone else. But I like mm -hmm. to have all of my party up at the same level. As each other so there's a bit of grinding involved in order to get everyone else up to the same level but you know from what i've played of it it's really a lot of fun and i'd like to uh, jump back into this when i've got some time and uh, and finish it because i'd like to see well to be honest we know how the story ends really but uh, i'd like to see how it ended you know all right the next pickup i got actually got shipped over to me from america because i'd been waiting an age for this okay you, you can imagine it is a limited run release, and I'd been waiting ages for it, and I did a video of the unboxing. It is, of course, Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Wow. And I'd been, oh, I'd been waiting so long for this. I'd, I'd ordered this around about when the lockdowns had started, and it only okay. arrived um, late November. So I'd been waiting so many months to get hold of this, but I finally got hold of it. I unboxed it. It's got so many different goodies, and the game itself is really, really a lot of fun. Um, when I got, when I'd unboxed it and I'd finished my video on it, uh, I then went ahead and just played it exclusively for the next few days and uh, just completed the lot. It, it's it's such a fun platformer. And while we're talking about Limited Run, actually, the next game that I got was another one from Limited Run, which I've also done a video on. Which is uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Wow. Full box thing. I didn't even know about that. Oh yeah, they've done this one. They've done Jedi Knight 2 as well. I only ordered the first one though. Is that still available? No. Oh. I'm afraid not. It, well, that's the name of the game. It's limited run. They, they don't make them anymore. No. It came with a still book. It came with uh, exclusive interviews inside, and it came with a, U a, a LucasArts USB stick, which turns out had a, a full copy of the PC version of the game on it. So you could play it on PC as well if you wanted. It's just, no. and, and that's the thing. They never mentioned that. They mentioned that there was a USB stick included. You, you think it's just a blank USB stick? It isn't. It had the full game on it. Oh, mate, I am gutted. It's absolutely brilliant. So, of course, I've been enjoying that quite a bit. <laughs> now, of course, the uh, the best things in life, they're in threes, aren't they? Don't you agree? Oh, three. They're in threes. Uh, so, the next game that I've got is another limited run game, which was sent to me, uh, which arrived just a few days after uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight. And that was... Panzer Dragoon again, but this time on the Switch. Uh, oh. It's the limited edition version, which is in a, um, well, what they call a Saturn style case. But of course, um, it's it's the American Saturn case. It's not the European style case. But of course, limited run there based in the US. Of course, they're going to yeah. focus uh, on that. 
Uh, but that's a, a nice little addition to the collection. And, uh, you know, I've, I've installed the game. Uh, it, this was delayed quite a bit because they wanted to have the uh, improved version, uh, the improved upgrade on this, where it increased um, the frame rate on it. They'd optimized it a bit, so it was running a lot better. And uh, there were a couple of other features that they wanted to add in as well as part of the, the, uh, the cart version. Um, I think there's been another update since. Uh, but I think that's just fixing bugs. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, a fantastic little collector, uh, collector's that's edition crazy. that I've got there. That's really good. Right, the next title I got, um, this wasn't one that I bought. It was bought for me. It was a, uh, a Christmas present in 2020 from my brother. And I'll just show you it. Doom Eternal. Get in. I thought you'd approve of that. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing that on Game Pass uh, recently. It's really good. Um, I mean, I was playing it on Game Pass as well, and um, of course, my I was playing it on Xbox on Game Pass. My brother's also got an Xbox, and uh, he he had bought this. He told me this afterwards, but he told me that he saw that I was playing the game already after he had bought the physical game for me for Christmas, uh, and he worried like oh darn has he already bought the game but then he realized that um i've got game pass so i've yeah. probably been playing it digitally so he, he went he thought you know what he can have it anyway and he made the right decision because i didn't have it physical like things yeah so he, he got it absolutely spot on and i'm really thankful that i've got a physical copy of this as well because yeah. it's such a fantastic game yeah it's great it's, it's an amazing game all right well my last game is one which uh, it, it's my most recently purchased game and i even bought this for a friend of mine for christmas and he absolutely loves it and what i also want to add as well is it's quite a short game so i managed to get all of the achievements within a weekend so like i'd completed the entire thing within like two days of me getting it it doesn't take away from the fact that it's a fantastic game Spider-Man Miles Morales on PS4. <laughs> Fantastic. Because I have to say PS4 because it's also available on the PS5. Yeah. And uh, this version also comes with a free PS5 upgrade. Um, so I suppose... I don't know how it works. I don't think there was a code inside. No, there's no code no, inside. No, I think an automatic... Yeah. It might be an automatic thing, like it is when uh, you put a, an original Xbox game into uh, a One X or a Series X, it will download the version yeah. that's compatible with it. Yeah, that's uh, what happens with the, with the new uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Fantastic. thing well, is, I got the uh, the other Spider-Man, the, I got that for my birthday before the lockdown. One. Yeah, and if that game plays as good as the other one then mate that's an absolute classic it it plays just as well absolutely just yeah. as well it's an excellent game um con considering how short it is probably not worth rrp not worth the full what 50 quid is it to get it mm -hmm. but if you can get it at a discount um absolutely it is it, it's, it's perfect yeah. to pick up it's absolutely perfect title so there you go. That was everything that we both picked up during the lockdown over the course of, uh, well, most of 2020 and a little bit into 2021 as well. Um, I've got to say, thank you very much, G, for joining me on this. You picked up a few things that I didn't realise that you'd got, so it was fantastic to see that. Uh, so yeah. for everyone at home, where can, they, where can they find you on the internet? Well, I'm on Twitter at the Revolverine, or one word. Mm -hmm. And me and Ray can be found on YouTube at EGW, The End Gamers. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. well, again, thanks very much for uh, helping me out with this. And thank and you for watching. You. So, uh, it, I mean, you for me. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you like this video, please leave a, a like. Or if you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And please tell me why, you know. <laughs> and, uh, of course, there's always that subscribe button down below if you want to see more. And... 
you know, let us know what you picked up. Have you picked up any games during the lockdown? Did you have them delivered? Did you manage to find a window where uh, the lockdown wasn't in place, where you're able to go to your local GameStop and pick a uh, uh, GameStop game, or uh, anywhere else, CEX, where you're able to pick up the game? Let us know what you picked up over the last year. Uh, but that's everything. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time.